this is not an unboxing video as you can see it's already been opened right well yes I'm sure we can have quite a few cats here uh, this is a box of clamshell games I've found and uh, I've got no idea what games are in there yeah because I had to uh, pack up my house with 18 and a half years worth of shit within about six days because a silly bitch who didn't want to buy my house suddenly decided she wanted my house and she needed to exchange in six days dumb fucking cunt anyway let's have a look now I can see some of them on the top obviously so uh, this is going to be interesting I think hey. what could be more British than my floral uh well, they're not mine, they're the cats. This is a sofa for the cats. Right, what we got today then? Sacred Armour of Antiriad, I believe. And uh, it's a bit yellowed actually at the top on the white text. Hmm. So that's quite a nice game, but it's an uh, arcade adventure. Hyper Sports. Did I have this? I had the uh, Sacred Armor of Antiriad as a kid, but I think it was on a compilation. Was it the Elite Hit Pack? I'm not sure. So I do like the old uh, yellow Imagine um, clamshells, very iconic. Darion, oof, for Spectrum owners only. That's the kind of rubbish they have to play. Oh, what the hell is that? Eh? Coffee bean, is it? Probably. The Ark of Yesod. It's quite nice artwork, actually. Bit ragged. <laughs> Coffee bean away. Oh, now we get into uh, something interesting. Now here's two games. I'm going to recreate teenage version of me dilemma. So here we go. We're in the uh, record shop in uh, Edmonton Green that also sold games on uh, wire shelves uh, at the entrance. And I remember picking up these two games. Uh, this was uh, the pyramid and also Beaky and the Egg Snatchers. Now I bought Beaky and the Egg Snatchers which is sort of like joust. It's not brilliant, well, I played worse. Uh, and I said uh, you know I might buy the other one. I wasn't that impressed with that one, so I never got back to buying the Pyramid. And because there were so many great games coming out on the C64 by this time. Actually, is, uh, is this 1984? Let's have a look, see if we can... Uh, it is 1984, sir. Now, I don't know if there's any instructions originally with them, but yeah. They smell a bit like the uh, loft in the old house. Right, here we go. Is it for the Atari? It's for the Commodore 64. Ah, oh, well, better than, uh, better than having to play shitty Spectrum and Amstrad games, though. Although this is not too bad on the Amstrad. Frame rate is not that crap. Uh, Spectrum one looks like fucking digital puke obviously and sounds like farty noises so yeah fuck off with the Spectrum mate. So I had this along with, have I got the other game? Actually that's interesting, quite a common game uh, that I got for uh, Christmas from my sister and no amazingly I don't have one in but you know what Ghostbusters looks like, so yeah, we had that. 
that's pretty good. Uh, jump jet. No, I had Harrier attack. I didn't have jump jet. A lot of people did have jump jet. Might have played it, but I definitely didn't waste me money on it. Oh, look, there's my mate Harry Coronis and his rift. He's having a bit of a bargy there. Obviously, he's uh, getting ready to go skiing there with the old skiing goggles. Sergio Tacchini, uh light blue tracksuit there. Too much uh, hair gel, stupid hairstyle. Yeah, that's about right. Never really liked this game. Never owned it. Played it on my mate's Atari. Oh, here we go. He's a classic. I had this Frack on the C64. Frack you! Yeah, if you've ever watched Battlestar Galactica, you know what Frack means. It means fuck. It means oh fuck. Now, this is a, a loose conversion. Loose like uh, the old wizard sleeve on the uh, minging uh, and Longfield stupid cunt advisor to the government who's saying the priority is the children. No, the priority is uh, for the children not to go back to school too early and fucking spread the filthy disease in my area, you fucking whore. So there's that. I had this on the C64 and the graphics are bigger on the C64. Which means you can actually see less of the uh, area. So it's a bit precarious when you have to like jump, you know, leap of faith, literally. So, but it doesn't have the hideous uh, colour palette of the BBC version. There we go. Blade Runner. Ooh, doesn't have the poster though, does it? That's quite important actually. Because the poster for this is quite unique. I think I've got a picture of it somewhere. With loads of folds and creases, obviously. There's no screenshots at the back. Does it tell you it's basically a one level game? Maybe it does, I don't know. Never had that. Doesn't even have a great version of the title tune. Thing on your spring, mate. Great music, great scrolling. Two things uh, the uh, Spectrum users never heard of. Colour scrolling, sorry. Do they have uh, screenshots from different versions? It's a bit weird looking at it through the camera. Yeah, these are C64 screenshots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, very difficult game actually. Very annoying game. But it's better than owning a Spectrum. Great. This is called Hopeless. And it's by someone who don't want to put their logo on the front. So it must be shit. You know what? Radar Soft. Never heard of them. Hmm. Don't know what to make of this game. Might have to uh, check this out on Game Base sixty four. Yeah, we've still got SX64 there, if it'll focus. Come on, focus with the shit in it. Man, this thing really don't like changing the focus, unless you actually do the zoom. So yeah, there'll be no SD to IEC bullshit going on. Uh, high noon! Uh, I probably should have bought my reading glasses. Oh well, my apologies for the uh, one or two people that might actually watch this video from start to finish. Uh, now I've played this obviously on the SX64, but I didn't have it as a kid. I'm not. Sh 
I'm not 100% sure that I didn't have it, but I'm more sure that I didn't have it than having it. Bit like a fit bird when you're in your 40s, mate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that never happened. Close, but no cigar. Loco, I had Loco on the C64. Iconic game. Now, famously, the Atari version has different music and different graphics, but it's a very similar game on both. Yeah, this, this is quite a fun game. Actually, what's the year on this one? If it will zoom, using your camera. Uh, oh, actually, there's the date, it's 1984, so another early game. Yeah, it is 1984. Ah, come on, you stupid camera. Oof. Right, I'm not going to focus. Better than anything on the spectrum. Montezuma's Revenge. Never had this. Ah, of course, all my games are in a landfill in a completely different country. Because my bitch of an auntie decided to give me, like, one week's notice. Uh, that they wanted to use the garage now, so all my uh, childhood shit that I'd saved for fucking 10, 15 years, ah, I just got dumped, mate. Well, that's what they say, but I'm pretty sure they sold my uh, Atari ST, my C64, my Atari VCS. Even in the early 90s, in that shit old people would buy that shit. They're about five years behind... Uh, the UK, I suppose. Ah, come on, focus, you goddamn bastard. Anyway, another game I played on the SX64. It's all right. Better than the shit you get on the Spectrum, but... Uh, Bongo, Ali Bongo. I don't know who Ali Bongo is. But I remember there used to be uh, a thing about that. So this is a dual format one, so if you don't load on one side, you're pretty fucked. Especially if you want to play the C64 version, not the VIC-20 version. No screenshots. Pixie Pete! Now I think this is a Mr. Do ripoff. I think I've actually uh, uploaded a video of this like 10 years ago on my channel. Obviously, he's going to have colour graphics and sound, unlike the Spectrum. But I don't have scrolling, so the Amstrad has a chance here. Hover bother. Never had hover bother. Hover bother's alright. I prefer Moa Mania on the VIC-20. Technically, it's more impressive. Vortex Raider, well, after... Uh, Sprite Man and uh, Interceptor Kong. I pretty much stopped buying their shit until I saw Tales of the Arabian Nights uh, doing the music and doing the speech in the shop. So there's that. Of course, they don't have screenshots. Wow, these are all in pretty naff condition. Don't worry, I've got hundreds of these clamshells. Here we go Tales of the Arabian Nights. Brilliant game. It's a brilliant shit game. <laughs> yeah, there are better games. However, for Interceptor, this is brilliant. There's the magic words. Blurred out too much. Contains speech, no extra hardware required, I bet that says. Or something like that. Come on, man. Just do the decent thing and zoom. focus, not zoom. You know what? It's gonna fucking go out. Ah, you bastard. Alright, well. Barry McGuigan's boxing and the front is a bit fucked on this one, so I probably don't think much of that. 
and then it goes zoomed out again. Barry McGuigan was a little shit uh, who managed to win his class, the puny class of uh, uh, weight in boxing, and so he made the game. Now there's screenshots on the back, they're a bit dark actually. They're very dark. Maybe they're dark on purpose. And one of the screens is fucking stats. Oh man, it's very difficult to get this to... Uh... I don't think this is a good idea to make this video. But hey, no one really watches my channel. So these are just for me. Cheap Burt Reynolds knockoff on Taladager Knights. Taladager, however you fucking. Ah, that's Richard Petty, is it? Cosme is not great. I'm showing you the artwork here, and that's the best thing about this game. Very rubbish. Actually, I noticed there's quite a few of my favourite games not in here, so maybe this is the uh, just the leftover shit. Brian Bloodaxe, yes! I should really uh, try and get the stickers off, but then the case isn't... Oh, actually, this case isn't too bad. They look more dusty than usual because of the enormous window in my tiny third living room here. Um, yeah, I had this on Now Games, and uh, famously, after it's finished loading, it says, uh, now blow on the keyboard, and I did actually blow on the keyboard, and the game stopped. <laughs> and I thought, what the fuck? Interceptor Star Trek. Well, most Star Trek games are crappy fucking strategy games written in basic, and if you add uh, the Interceptor cock factor, which is tiny... Doesn't even touch the sides, let alone the bottom of the uh, woman's. Yeah, anyway. Never played it. No interest in ever playing it. I bet the cover art is the only good thing about it. Now, speaking of cover art. This is fantastic cover art. And it's not the worst version of Defender on the C64, actually. That would be Annihilator and Annihilator 2 by Mogul. Fucking horrible. This... Mm, something I probably could have written after uh, a month of reading some sort of uh, machine code for the C64 like tutorial. Yeah, these these ain't most of these games ain't the ones I had, and most of them are not great condition. Oh well, these must be the leftovers, right? Well, there's something very British about that. Top twat gaming man, perhaps, trying to blow himself up because he had to endure the shitty Amstrad all that fucking time. And obviously, when I had a SNES, let alone a fucking Amiga 1200, uh, he had to play on the Amstrad, poor bastard. But the millennials love him, and apparently that makes his channel better than mine. Annie Rock Cybotron, not Cybertron. Actually, the artwork's not bad, you know. Very stylish. No screenshots. Hmm. Now, if I had more than fucking uh, five people watching these videos at most, I'd probably uh, go on Game Base 64 and record some footage for each game, put it in a little window. Now that I'm an expert at video editing, better than them Patreon pricks, you dumb millennial pricks, are giving them thousands a month to fucking uh, make videos based on shit Wikipedia facts. Red Arrows. I remember seeing this for sale. Remember not buying it. Probably shit. Combat flight simulator. Right. 
that's not possible on the C64 me thinks. Flight Path 737, I'm sure this has speech. Advanced Pilot Trainer. Oh, it's probably illegal in America to play this now if you've got uh, of a certain ethnicity, shall we say. But Mr. Trump is a bit busy creating a vaccine. He's pulling it out of his ass. Hello there, mate. You come to check out the game. Oh, this was another one that was doing the rounds. More on the uh, Spectrum than the uh, C64, though. Because obviously the Spectrum can't do decent multicolor fast scrolling arcade games with brilliant soundtracks and sound effects farty noises are not acceptable sound effects never played it I know loads of people bought it most of them were the old uh, free school dinners uh, fucking uh, clear blue NHS uh, spectacles brigade next mate you can't go in there He's thinking, this is nice. There's a new bed for me here in a minute. You jump in the gun a bit there. Just like the fucking pricks who uh, are saying, we can open the schools. I don't think the children uh, can pass the disease on their parents. A fucking dumb cocksuckers, mate. I fucking hate this uh, government. And I fucking hate the uh, people making the decisions. Fucking arseholes. Keep the schools closed, you cocksuckers. Tell you when the schools can open? When uh, every fucking age group in this country has got a 75% chance of being killed by this stink virus. Never played this, actually. True to form? No, um, no screenshot. I'm running out of space to throw all this stuff. Astral Zone. Sounds great, probably shit. Who makes this bollocks? Yeah, he doesn't know. Channel 8 software. Most of their games are cock. No screenshots, probably crap. Spitfire Ace. Got many copies of this. I don't think I've ever played it. Right, this is a great game. Let's hope uh, I guessed right. Yes, the Great American Cross Country Road Race, a.k.a. Enduro 2. Bloody brilliant game, this. If you've got an Atari or a C64, make sure you uh, try this out. Very good. If you like, you, if you like uh, Enduro, you'll like that too. Electroglide. Now, I have got one release of this, which is Atari and Commodore, and here it is. Atari and Commodore so all you need to do is buy an Atari 800XL for a fucking 100 quid in the uh, sales and it's actually worth trying out if you got a C64 forget it Blue Max of course I've played Blue Max of course I had Blue Max and of course you're sick of Blue Max but here it is, Blue Max, fucking brilliant game. Actually, is that the C64 version? It is, yes. I've got it on the Atari as well. Uh, Jay Morrison, Mike Crows, that sounds like a Spectrum owner if ever I heard one. Uh, Cybermen for the C64. Screenshots. Nah, mate, you shit out of luck, innit? When is this shit? I think that says 1983. Ah, the artwork is a bit iffy. Looks like his uh, teenage kid drew it for him. Never played it, no idea. Channel was too fucking dead to uh, bother putting some uh, gameplay footage on there. Flyer Fox. So that's speech actually. It's called Timac Talkies. No extra hardware. It talks. Oh, actually, it does have screenshots as well. 
So yeah, I had Flyfox. It's not quite as good as Skyfox. That is better than anything on the spectrum. And Heroes of Khan, uh, adventure game, may or may not have some graphics, certainly doesn't have screenshots. Next, Frogger 64, with a hideous fucking uh, picture on the front, drawn by some fucking idiot, and no screenshots on the back, probably shit, most of their games were, oh look, Westworld. Advanced Computer Entertainment. I need to find uh, Pigs in Space as well by uh, Ace. Oh, there is a screen. No, that's not a screenshot. No screenshots. After the Great Holocaust, blah, blah, blah. I can't read that. Oh, crazy comics. Now, I did have this on the C64. It's one of uh, three games copied with the uh, dual tape deck uh, backup thing you used to get. Plug two tape decks into it. Press play on one, record on the other while it's loading. Uh, my cousin made me them copies. Eddie, if you're out there, mate, stay safe. Uh, pretty good. The thing I remember most about this game it's one of the fastest loading uh, cassette games I actually had. Loaded in about three and a half minutes. So it's probably a really small game. I had Hacker. Uh, not quite an adventure, not quite an arcade game. Never really got into it actually, I must admit. But if you like these kind of games, it's probably alright. It's, it's better than uh, the other one I had from Activision, which was Gremlins. Night Games! Never had this. Picked it up quite a few times in the shops. Never actually uh, bought it. I wasn't really a huge fan of sporting games. Gonna have to put them back in the uh, box now. Oh, high noon. And sip it out. Uh, it's quite a simple uh, Jeff Minter game. It's quite an early one, actually. I think. What's the date on this shit? Uh, but new enough to have an overload. Never played it, must admit. Interesting artwork. Quasimodo for the 64 by uh, Sinsoft. Is there screenshots? Now, Ocean's Hunchback is uh, a fantastic conversion for the C64. Dream on Spectrum Owners. Piss your pants in it. Uh, so I've never played this, but the artwork is not bad. Right, what the hell is this? Uh, 3D high res graphics, Mish. Who makes this uh, Monarch software? What the hell are they doing up there? This is called uh, Cyphoid. Or Kyphoid 9. Next! Kong Strikes Back. Yeah, of course I find this and not the actual Donkey Kong. Famously, uh, Mr. Do's Wild Ride ripped off by Ocean. And uh, they stuck the Kong thing on there. Never bought it. I'm not stupid, mate. Ah, Wizardry! Wizardry is a fantastic game. It's got nine different tunes. And uh, the music playing... Uh, changes depending on uh, just how much shit you're in basically very good interactive soundtrack not a bad game bit of an arcade adventure I used to love the uh, cover art on this there we go never had drills you know how it is mate 
camera limit there 29 minutes 59 seconds got no idea what this is like actually a lively imaginative you can tell they're all lies alternative to what's that say to rockets and bombs your drill build, builds glowing spare weather. yes another game to uh, shove up the arse of uh, spectrum owners well not the original a copy obviously for buying the wrong computer you bought the wrong computer mate anyone who's uh, fascinated by the spectrum is shit got low standards mate and probably low IQ as well or well, you probably just couldn't afford a C64 the hell is it? ah yes this is for Apocalypse Accompanied by Chucky's uh, moaning. Never had this on the C64. Would have played it on my mate's Atari 800 though. He had fucking everything. Dirty Pirate. He had fucking uh, hundreds of games on pirate discs. And that was in the early 80s. He even had like a special chip in the uh, disc drive. To allow him to copy uh, commercial games. And yet his dad was earning fucking shitloads of money, like some middle class job. Just goes to show in it, not everyone who pirated was uh, poor. Saxon is great on the C64, won't load on my SX64, so uh, tough shit, you're not going to see that. Space Harrier. Now I had this on the Amiga, so I probably wouldn't have bought it on the C64. But I might have had it on a compilation. I wouldn't have bought the original. It's alright, but you're better off with the American version. Even running it on the uh, British C64. Well, the PAL C64. Because you get the stripes on the floor. Ah, which uh, took Chris Butler like uh, less than an hour to put in. Five-a-side football. <laughs> Annie Rog. They're probably worse football games, but they're all on the Amstrad and the Spectrum. I had international soccer, mate. And uh, Brian Jack's Superstar Challenge. I think he also done Uchi Mata. There we go. There's the geezer from Micro Live who bought the uh, certain computer. I won't tell you which one. Yeah, I'm not uploading them clips. I take fucking ages to render on uh, Camtasia. No thank you, mate. Uh, no screenshots. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I think, uh, no, the next one's Trolley Wally. Well, the last one. But I had Hustler on the C64. This, this is fucking iconic for me. You probably think it's shit. But it's not bad. Doesn't play too bad and the music's quite nice in an early sort of sit kind of pre hubbard sort of way. And we have uh, Trolley Wally. Another uh, game I didn't buy. Basically I just avoided Interceptor software unless I could try the game in the shop. And even then I probably wasn't that bothered if I couldn't. Yeah. So that's the end of the video.